stronger.
chest. Don't drink from the waterfall, okay? We can't be sure that it's safe. Rare treasure chest located. Motivated. Let us follow his example. There are so many colors on this floor. It's hurting my eyes. Seriously, these colors are so loud. They're driving me insane. seems to be pleased. Well done. Treasure chest identified. Stairs located. Updating data records. finish. A 
one-way teleporter is nearby. Will you return to the entrance? making my eyes hurt. It's too dangerous to look away. Shadow sighted. Initializing combat mode. door spot I'll do it leader Direction. Seize the moment and destroy the 
Stone is gone. Sun is very motivated. visual on this floor, but I will seems to be pleased. <gasps> uh, 
Like we still have a ways to Rare Shadow detected. Rare Shadow. A rare enemy. It would be great if we can defeat it. Operation the operation was a success. Good job, everyone! All right, then. Moving on. We have discovered a door. We...
Yeah. earrings i've been wanting new ones but i can never seem to make up my mind they're all so cute you know there are too many options to choose from i know why don't you come help me pick something out yeah come on then let's go uh, hang on i've got a call hello uh-huh. What? You're not doing it? You want my approval first? Wait, it's fine. You can do what you want to do. What I mean is, if that's what you really want, then go ahead. It's your choice, so... 
You really don't have to worry about me. Well, then, you want to meet up and talk about it? <sighs> hey, stop it, don't cry. I'll try to call you more too, okay? All right, bye. And that was my mom. She apologized for everything that's happened. She said she won't get remarried until I'm okay with it. That's weird. I can't stop shaking for some reason. Can we sit for a while? Sorry about all that. I'm fine now. I was just surprised. I never expected this to happen. I told her we could meet up and talk about her remarriage. I'm nervous just thinking about it. I don't exactly want to. I'm afraid it might get ugly. We haven't seen each other in almost 10 years, so it's not going to be easy. I'm afraid I'll get angry and say something cruel. Still, I think it's time I try talking to her. I've been saying how wrong it is to run away, so I need to live up to my own advice. You know, I think she still misses my dad deep down, but she couldn't handle it, losing someone so important to her why she needed someone to lean on. I think losing someone you love and having to go on alone is really, really hard. I'm not sure how to explain, but I realized this after being with you. I think being in love means giving a part of yourself away, and that's a wonderful thing. <laughs> I mean, just in general, you know? wait till next time. Let's just go home for today. Oh, welcome back. doing out this late? Ah, walking the dog, huh? I didn't know you had one. We used to have a dog, too. Man, that brings back memories. <laughs> He's a lively one, isn't he? I bet running alongside this little guy would be great practice. For now, I'll run along home. I'll see you later. Good day. Here, 
Here are my requests. Very well. Good day. Very well. Welcome to the Velvet Room. you need? Are you satisfied with this? Well then, shall we take a look? Personas come to be is a great joy of mine. This persona is powerful. Persona is powerful. This please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive an immense amount of... <laughs> A new power emerges. acceptable? Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive a... So it begins.
It is a special persona you desire, is it not? This is your progress so far. Are you in search? It is a special persona you desire, is it not? Accept yourself. Accept your abilities. Most certainly be worth your time and effort. This is your progress so far. Browse to your heart's content. your heart's content. Take a look. Is this acceptable? Very well, it's yours. Please take a look. Please take a look. You are already carrying that one. Now then, let's begin. Well then. Shall we take a look? This one, what do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive a... It's finally time. Are you satisfied with this? Please choose what skills to inherit. 
It appears it will res- <laughs> Why, this is exciting, isn't it? Take all the time you need to consider. Bulk? No? Hmm? You finished? Be seeing ya. Welcome. Yes. <laughs> Creating equipment. We have some new items prepared. Come take a look. Baby, stay with me. Is that all you need? Hope to see you soon. more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird became friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the alligator would listen to the little bird sing. But the pink alligator still had trouble hunting because of his color. He was so terribly easy to spot, and his prey always had plenty of time to escape. Eventually, he became so hungry that he grew dizzy. And one afternoon, he accidentally ate the bird as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he immediately realized what he'd done. He drank swamp water to vomit his friend back up. But he was too late. The bird was already dead. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending yet. Oh, is it really that dark? For me, it's hard to tell. The words I use come from my own life. I don't really have a point of reference. But I see. So, this is depressing for others. You know, when I mentioned I was writing a diary, that was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality, and I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. For now, though, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I'd like you to be the first to read it. Meeting you is why I started writing it, you know? I 
I've been trying to come up with a good ending, but I just can't decide, and I'm running out of time. I've got to go now, but I hope to see you again. every day. So his name's Koromaru-kun. Wait, it's written with the kanji for tiger and wolf? What a badass. <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome back, little buddy. Oh, you can run around all by yourself, huh? Oh, aren't you a clever boy? Oh, man, I actually need to get going. I'll see you later, you two. another transfer student. Is this really our third one? <laughs> Guess that makes it a hat trick. Go on, introduce yourself. My name's Ryoji Mochizuki. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, not so loud. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work, and that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi, that seat's taken. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life is just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Uh-huh. Hey there. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. Dinner? I guess, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? attention, all right? Transferring. I hope you like it here, Mochizuki-kun. Oh, 
I do. And please, call me Ryoji. Hey, do you have plans today? If not, maybe we can go somewhere for tea? Oh, Mochizuki-kun, sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. And let's see... Right, could you come along too? Go ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. See you tomorrow. Uh, sorry, hold on. Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Why? Well, you happen to be around. I think the boxes are packed full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. I signed for these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekoda. I mean, d Mr. Ekoda has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. Come on, we can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? Joking, of course. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? Whew. I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected, but the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though, you are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? Oh, are you on a sports team? Like baseball or soccer? I think there's a track team, too. I'd like to join one, too, but I guess they're not recruiting right now. Oh, that's right. This caught my eye when we walked in. I notice you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music? How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? Well, see for yourself. that any good I thought if I impressed you it might be a good way for us to hit it off there's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with yet so I want to keep learning and trying new things I heard you transferred here too back in spring seems like we have a thing or two in common you think we can be friends what do you say It does somehow feel like we've known each other for a long time already. So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right! I think we exchange phone numbers? Uh, sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with.
relax to the sip. Morning. Let's wrap up for today. Good work, everyone. Whew, all done. All right, let's clean up and go home. really figure out what's causing the pain. It might lead to serious complications down the road. Does anywhere else hurt? Are your nose and throat all right? Does it feel like your head is in a vice?
Oh boy, here we go. Heisuke Senpai strikes again. Yamakishi-san won't be going anywhere for a while. If someone isn't feeling well, he always tries to figure out what's wrong. And it doesn't matter when or where. Once he starts, it takes forever. Heisuke Senpai's dad's the director of a big hospital, and he's an only child. I guess he just can't stand to see people suffer. I bet he'll end up going to medical school. So the pain's originating from the back of your head? Could you turn around, please? Ah, don't worry. It's just a chronic tension type headache. Most likely the result of stress. You might be spending too much time in front of the computer. Try to get outside and exercise more. It must seem funny to get medical advice from the head of the art club. I was worried I'd come down with the flu or something. In that case, I can do a more thorough check. Could you remove your shirt? Also, open your mouth and stick out your tongue. What? Uh, that's okay. I'm fine. Besides, our dorm isn't far, so he can accompany me back. Uh, sorry, sorry. Wait, you two live in the dorms? I guess I see it in Yamagishi-san. She seems like the well-adjusted type. I bet you're a great cook. Do you take care of the laundry? Is living alone hard? Oh, sorry, Yamagishi-san. I forgot about your condition. I know it's close, but I don't think you should be walking home. Why don't I call you a taxi? Though a bumpy taxi ride might make your headache worse. Maybe a limousine would be better. Uh, that's okay. I'm fine, really. Welcome back. Yes. So dance. If you wanna go ahead, we do do whatever I'm chilling on the bed. Stand in my bed, so mind your own biz. Whatever like is, we go flow with the set. Hey, 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 feeling the fire with the bird. of persona do you desire have you all the elements you need please take a look This persona is unregistered. This persona is unregistered. Please take a look. So you'll be summoning this one? Very well, it's yours. Very well. We look... Sell sure, it's a deal. All done here? Well, I got some stuff you might find useful. So feel free to browse. Take as long as you need. Hmm? You finished? All done here? Be seeing ya. Yes! 
finally at the last episode. I wonder how it's going to end. You know, about this series? I mentioned before how it caught my attention, but I was afraid it might be too scary for me. But I'm glad I watched it. Guess it's important to break out of your comfort zone sometimes. Do you ever try watching things from genres you don't normally get into? <laughs> I'm the same way. Isn't it easier to try something new when you have someone with you for the ride? It's also nice to be able to comment on it and see the other person's reaction. Watching this together made me realize how much I appreciated the main character. Like how she can't turn a blind eye to people in need and extends her hand to almost anyone. And of course the way she kept pressing forward no matter what happened. It was so inspiring. Come to think of it, isn't she just like you? <laughs> That might be a stretch. Remember how I told you about that girl I was close to who started ignoring me one day? It's not like I did anything to make her hate me. We've been friends for a long time, but one day out of the blue, she just said, my mother told me I can't play with you anymore. It's because there were rumors floating around about my parents. I kind of get it now, looking back, but at the time, I was just... What I'm trying to say is, this show made me realize I'd like to be a little more like the main character. I want to be the kind of person who'd help anyone at any time. Someone who's kind and strong. It might be silly to say I look up to a fictional character, but there's no harm in following her example. At least, that's what I think. That ending was so good! I hope they'll make a sequel. I'll bring more DVDs I'm curious about next time. Oh, it's about time we head back to our rooms. Have a good night, okay? with me. It's gotten you into a whole mess of trouble, and honestly, some of the stuff I've said is really not okay. Is it because we're both Persona users? Or are we actually good friends? Or do you, by any chance, have feelings for... What do you really think of me? What? No way! Are you serious? 
You're not pulling my leg, are you? Do you really mean it? Wow. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. It just feels like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. The tears won't stop coming. <laughs> You're so hard to read. You're always so kind to everyone. That's why I thought you saw me as just a friend like everyone else. Lately, I found myself getting upset when I've seen you talking with Fuka. It made me scared that I was turning into a petty, jealous person. He felt awful about it. So, um, I'd like it if you had eyes for me. And only me. says that ass better not crack under pressure usually people's asses are already cracked yours is as well right good that is a relief if that is the case then this must be referring to a different ass Currently, this is the only section that I am unclear on, but I suspect that if I continue reading, I will encounter even more confusing phrases. If you don't mind, could I ask you to read with me until the end? Thank you very much. With your help, I've been able to update my records with new information. Apparently, this book has a sequel. If it is possible, I would like to read with you again sometime. It's gotten rather late. We should head back to our rooms. Or should I say, our turfs. That's right. Well, the answer was pretty obvious.
there. Day, I recommended the novel I'm reading to a classmate. I don't talk to her much, but at the time we were discussing a movie we'd both seen. She wasn't too keen on the recommendation and turned me down, though. It was because the series looked hard to get into. There are so many volumes. If she just gave it a chance, I know she would see how interesting it is. The basic premise is about journeying to other planets, and even that by itself already sounds intriguing. And the writing is so unique and poetic. I can't help but get sucked in. Recommending something to someone is a really tricky thing, huh? Well, thank you anyways. I appreciate you showing interest in that book. Okay, I think I'll read a little further myself. <sighs> Whew. I finished the whole thing. Flies by so quick. Well then, good night. Morning.
Relax to the sound that goes around and round and round and round. She said, hey, Thanks. hey, hey, feel in the fuck. I'm thinking of using the cabbage in the fridge to make a cream stew. I've heard it's healthy from leaf to core, so I'll go ahead and use the entire thing. As you can see, I've done my homework. <laughs> Did you come prepared? You know, uh, well, whatever. I'll ask you again once you've eaten it. Okay, less talking, more cooking. I'll handle the main dish with the cabbage. So how about you start on the rice and stuff? <sighs> I'm stuffed. We made short work of that, huh? So, how'd you like today's meal? Oh, you said it! You actually said yum! Finally! I just had to get you to say it today. Hey, remember what I said the very first time we cooked together? That I'd make it so delicious you couldn't help saying yum. I'm pretty stubborn, you know. But I gotta say, it's nice seeing the look on someone's face when they're eating something they really like. It's not just about proving myself. It's that I really wanted to see that smile again. What, did that make me sound selfless? Sorry, but this is still a two-way street. Next time, it's your turn to do something for me. Let's make some yummy memories together. Thanks for today. Let's do this again when you have some time. Okay, let's hurry and get this cleaned up. Morning. Hey there. Get a load of this. Finally found you. Hey, Takeba. You hardly ever miss student council meetings. I've been looking all over for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Ah, oh, well. Sorry about that. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. It's for both second and third years, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip. Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to, but I lost my dad too. And I know what that's like. Takeba. 
So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> there she is! I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji-kun? Why are you up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Ugh, Odagiri-kun. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five-star hotel. The restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Takeba, thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard... Ow! for some reason. The others are here in the dorm, too. I hope no one finds out I snuck you into my room. They'll hear me if I'm too loud. <gasps> Wait! I didn't mean it like that! Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Hey! You don't need to say it! Jeez! Whatever. Oh, right. I wanted to give you something. This is for you. You know what it is, right? It's the strap from my cell phone. I got it at the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It's been my special keepsake for years now, because my dad bought it for me. 
I used to talk to the little charm attached to it when I was alone in my room. <laughs> you must think I'm nuts, huh? But ever since I got to know you, I've stopped talking to it. It means a lot to me. So I should explain why I'm giving it to you. I'm only gonna say this once, okay? I... I love you. That's it. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the lover's arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the lovers within thyself. Hey, when this is all over, maybe we can spend some time together. Just the two of us. In fact, would it be all right if I jumped the gun a bit and took some of that time right now? I'm not ready to say goodnight yet. <laughs> I'm blushing, aren't I? Some new stuff. Take your time browsing. I never felt like Baby, stay with me. You got it. Which ones? So thanks for coming. Done already? Thanks. What are you looking for? Everything looks good. All right then. You gotta tell me. What are you looking for? I never feel like. Uh huh. I got some stuff you might find useful. So feel free. Hmm? You finished? Come back soon. Baby, stay with um. Yes. Thank you. 
Commencing exploration. We're doing well. Let's keep up the pace. There's a treasure chest. What? Shadow sighted. Initializing combat mode. Stairs located. Oh, there's a treasure chest! Teleporter is nearby. Will you return to the entrance? There's a shadow! <laughs> Excellent. Looks like we... situation.
Good. This will make me more effective in battle. All right, let's be on our way. That's a one-way teleporter, but there's no need to head back yet. Um... Negator. Creeps here. There's a powerful enemy ahead. Think twice before engaging. No matter the situation, a single mistake can cost you your life. Eliminated. Object of value located. You locate. What should we do about the door?
ready to move out at any time. Awaiting orders. That shadow looks way too strong. Rare target sighted. We caught the right here. Do your best to take it down. That's a win for the team! Good job, everyone! We have seized victory. Let us proceed. nearby that might prove to be any creeps here. Shadow detected nearby. A shadow. What will you do? Oh no, 
yourself. Who <laughs> dodged the attack? Nice one. We can head up. Look, is something over there? What? Yes. Welcome back. Seems everyone here. The situation is favorable. I have to do this. Yeah, 
Sebastian. Doing well. Let's keep up the pace. A shadow! Prepare for battle! Keep it up, everyone! Ready to finish this! Target destroyed! That's it, I guess! Damage inflicted! Not, Not a upgrade present. anymore! No shadow! All right, let's be on our way. group will continue to support our activities. Object of value located. I am picking up powerful readings. Remain alert.
Treasure chest identified. Strong ones that block our path, but just how many are there?
That might prove to be a difficult fight. What should we do about the door? Let's do this. All right. Prepare yourself. This will be no problem at all. This will do the trick. Nicely done, Takaba. Mission ended. 
the circular patterns on the walls just in case. Would this data be useful? Uh, yeah, no. I don't think so. That might prove to be a difficult fight. Let us proceed. That shadow looks way too strong. Stairs located. Be careful! No, not that! <laughs> 